Keyword Euro Customs and Collections. And on this episode, I'm going to be looking at getting this, let me get over here, this barbecue beater. And I mean a beater, you can see like his hand is mounted off. I've got his legs here and that's also quite loose, so I need to repair that. Got the crutch piece, that's all good. Got the backpack, that's good. I don't have the gun, um, the fire hose gun or an axe for him, but that's okay. I can probably get a normal gun for something, like a broken gun, and make my own fire hose with that. Because, you know, anyway, what I'm gonna do with this guy is turning him into the Slaughter's Marauders barbecue. And uh, so after this, after I've done this, all that's left is spirit. So that means my Source Marauders collection, my custom Source Marauders collection is now complete, but it's custom. So I can probably add a few more characters here and there. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what we can do. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, with this backpack, which we need to change the color. So we'll just put it on one side. Obviously it needs a new O-ring, but we can do that one. That one at this stage. I think the first thing I want to address, address is the lack of fingers. Right there. And I will start by using this. So yeah, I want to start drilling holes into this. Actually, accidentally drilled right through, but hey, that's right. Not a bit, not a big deal. So what I'll do next is grab this paper clip. I want to use. And if you've seen my previous videos or video from last year of Emerald Kilhor and replacing his hand like this, So this is the overall shape I've got for the finger, it's sort of slightly bent, as you can see. So I'll just put that down. And with some super glue. I now attach the foundation back on here. For the Miller pit, which is what I'll be using. All right, so I'll just basically leave that alone for 24 hours, and then I'll start shaping uh, some Miller pit on this. Okay, so I'm going to be using this, uh, this Miller pit, and it's going to be put on this hand here, on the hand piece. If you can see that right here. So let's get ourselves started. So I'm using two equal parts here. This is all I really need. So I'm just basically making the fingers. And you rub it together. And 
and actually what helps too with this stuff there was a little bit of water not too much Alright, so I'm going to leave that alone for a while. For the harden, it should be as good as gold. Okay, I'm going to start adding some fingers. I'm doing the skin describer here. Just marking it along. And I do the same on the inside. It's just light pressure. It's quite tricky too this angle with the thumb. If I didn't have the thumb there it would be extremely easy. Okay I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do is pull them apart and take this hand so it gets uh, hardened and then I'll look at probably definitely painting the head and the body Part first, then the legs and the waist piece. All right, so first of all, well, oh, that screw come out. <laughs> As you can see, there's the broken o ring, so I'll dispose of that. Now, I know the Sword of Marauder barbecue, this whole top part is painted the blue, even the silver part. Which makes me think I could quite possibly get away with just adding the head on and painting around that. Yeah, I can do that. That would be a lot easier. So I'll put the screw back in. So I've got my stand here. Just tighten it up as a wee little bit. A bit of move around the head, but that's all right. That's not a worry at all. So I'll move this and this aside and get my paints. So for the blue, if you've seen in my other sort of Marauders videos, it's the blue X4. Combined with the Sky Blue X14. And these are all acrylic paints, as you can see here. And what I do is I just put some in here. And a touch of that. And just mix it around. Until I get the right shade of blue that I want. The concern is a lot of blue. Involve. I think that looks about the right type of blue. It's pretty well close. Maybe just 
a little bit more dark to go with that. side normally when I get the color right I just go ahead and paint everything that's on that figure that color I think it's about right Pretty damn close. I kind of like the silver in front. I'm debating whether or not I just keep it the silver. Now I know on the back of the figure, on the Swords of Orders, this dark grey part was not painted. It was basically painted the green and brown camouflage, but I'll just want to carry on through. Okay, that's the first coat. I'm gonna basically leave that alone. Up there. And then with a foot stand. Paint these. Alright guys, I'm going to carry on doing this off screen and then I'll show you what's it look like once it's all done. Right, as you can see, that's the first coat. Uh, just basically let it run for an hour or half an hour. It's not it's incredibly hot today, so it might just be an hour. And then we'll do a second coat. Okay, so to do the brown on barbecue here, I'm going to be using a combination of the uh, red here, which is a little bit darker, a whole red, which is XF, XF9, and this NATO brown, which is XF68. And just by mixing these all three together, gets about the right type of combination. It's a quite unusual brown. It's um, I haven't quite quite mastered it yet, but it's, I've got it so close that I'm happy. Okay, so I add a bit of red to this. So this is about the colour I came up with. And for what I can see, it's, uh, it's painted brown about here. I don't 
don't get confused. You say it's hard to tell just what I'm thinking. You think it's hard to see behind my smile. I'll say whatever you want. Let you walk in on my heart if you want to. You can ask me. Okay, so now for the arms, and this is quite easy because I think it this goes about here, right where that swivel, swivel part is. Think about painting that patch there or that pocket there black. And like the yeah. Okay, now to do the brown part of the legs, which isn't really much really, it's probably about say up to here. I really enjoy these videos guys so um if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button it really helps me uh 
know that people are appreciating the work that I'm doing. I mean, I, I do it for myself anyway, but, you know, something to share with the Jojo community. Okay, so next it would be the lime green, which is what I've made up. And what I can see here, it's basically painted about here. That's the lime green that's painted. I'm going to be painting the rest of the figures, like the arms and legs, their colour, and then uh, we'll move on to the darker green. Okay, so that's all the pieces here that are painted that limish green. And then what I'm going to do is basically put that deep green, which is what I've been using for the final colour, well, actually black is the final colour, but that's the final green. And basically just... So that's slowly starting to look the part now. So I'll carry on with this colour and I'll show you guys once it's done. Okay, I've got an idea and it's uh, a risky one. So it requires for the slot, the screwdriver and flame. So... I hope this works, because I'm shitting bricks. Okay, so I've got the original backpack from Barbecue. You can tell because it's orange. And I was going to see that. And I found a hose, that's not a problem. Okay, well, to make that slot, I found the screwdriver. I'm going to heat it up here. I hope this works. Because I'm shitting bricks. Right, here we go. Wow. 
Well, it's made a nice little slot. I think it just needs a little bit more. So, I think it's going to work. I hope. Okay, so I need to put a hole at the back of this and put a paper clip in. Once again, use the old trusty super glue. I'm using a paper clip. Put drop in there. And just trim off the excess. I'll say about here. Next thing you want to do is actually add some more super glue because this hose is a bit smaller. That looks about right to me. So that will go about here actually. In actual fact, I only need to add a super glue to this. Right. That's a brand new. fire squirt gun for barbecue now unfortunately I don't have this battle wax but I've got this which is pretty close and if I get in say a random figure so like General Hawk here yeah it fits in his hand quite nicely No, give or take. So, I could either chop it up, trim it off down there, and that'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to paint this X black, or the handle black. Which I think will look quite the part. And at last, here's barbecue in his Slaughter's Marauders outfit or uniform. You can see here that I've painted the uh, extinguished tanks silver, and I think it makes a nice touch. I've decided to keep the handle long for the X, I reckon that's pretty cool. And also, you can see on the face mask, I've added the silver back on. I reckon it just, you know, breaks up. It gets a good contrast of the uh, of the whole uniform. I've also added the black cuffs on his um, on his sleeves for his uh, where, the, where his hands are, and of course, rebuilding that hand, I'm actually quite wrapped. It has literally worked big time. The customized X looks pretty cool. It's, I know it's not exactly the same one. But hey, it looks pretty cool. The makeshift fire hose gun, hey, it fits it fits in his um, holster on the side of his leg really well. 
I'm actually glad that really worked. I've got to give a big thanks to um, 3djoe.com. As I was painting this figure, I literally had it on my laptop and just basically seeing how the colour scheme worked. There's an old real like, close up of barbecue, sauce and rotors, and the gas tank. The hand, it's always tricky to do hands like this, but I'm actually quite, quite pleased how it's worked out. I'll take the backpack off. I've also added the blue down there, just like the original barbecue, um, the original barbecue, the orange one. And I've also kept the silver on. It just, I think it looked a lot better, to be honest. The old makeshift X. I don't know where I got the X from. It's a pretty close likeness. And I'm literally happy with that. But yeah, there it is all tooled up. And I said before, like the, I just used the uh, Major Blood version one rocket launcher, just take the rocket launcher part off, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks kind of close. So I'm going to put this barbecue with the others, Slaughter's Marauders, and it is almost complete. I've just got one more to do, Spirit, and that is uh, a little bit tricky. Well, the way I want to say thank you very much for watching the rest of this video. And if you're new to this channel, please leave a comment and send it your sub. I'll definitely get back to you. It's the least that I can do for all my loyal people that have watched and continue watching me. It makes my my day, really makes my day actually. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a nice hot cup of coffee. And I hope you do, or a nice hot cup of tea. And I will catch you next time on another fine episode. And it's Yo Joe. And see ya.